one exceptional gay man. I want to make a huge attempt at finding a connection. Fifteen extraordinary suitors all vying for his affection. Everybody's out to get this perfect guy. That's definitely ingredients for a lot of drama. There were things that he had heard that I hadn't heard. Two conflicting stories. In the end, he must select just one man. Will you stay? I would love to. But appearances aren't always what they seem. You assumed I was gay. Why? What neither the gay suitors nor the leading man know is that some of the suitors are straight men pretending to be gay. I love you. Competing to win a cash prize. Will the leading man discover their secret? They all think I'm gay right now, but I'm just playing this role. Are you serious? If I slip up, then that's it. I'm gone. The game's really begun. <laughs> in a world where gay is the norm and straight men must stay in the closet. <laughs> to actually want someone's heart, there's a lot that's spoken in a kiss. It's far beyond my comfort zone. Will boundaries be crossed? I just found out. It's indescribable. I thought it'd be a lot easier. Can stereotypes be shattered? I think that everybody on the show is going to learn something about themselves and other people. you got to just accept people for who they are. This is a situation where you have to just jump in. If you try to fake it, and they're going to know. Will romance prevail? We're all looking for love. We're all looking for romance. We're all looking for relationships. It's just like this magic. Find out when two worlds collide as we bridge the gap between gay and straight. I hope that I'm making the right choice. Welcome to Boy Meets Boy. Now, every romantic adventure has to have a leading man. And have we got a real winner for you. But don't take my word for it. Check this out. My name is James, I'm 32, and I'm a benefits administrator at my law firm. I was born in Devil's Lake, North Dakota, and I actually grew up in Rainier, Oregon. We didn't have a lot of money, you know, and I shared my brother's clothes. As a little kid, I was kind of quiet. Um, I was kind of nerdy. In high school, they called me a diamond in the rough. I went to college in Eugene, Oregon, and moved to Seattle and to California. Here I am. I'm Andra and I work in advertising. James and I met at work. She's my closest friend in the world. I'm his turn to person. And I'm the one she goes to for everything. I'm kind of his family here. I think it's a tenth of the month. He's always the one who's helping like make the parties for my mother's birthday or it's Thanksgiving or whatever. He'll be there and he's my James. Games, he is one competitive pitch. <laughs> I don't know if he has to win, but he likes to play. I've known James for two years, and he's only dated two people that I know of, and I was one of them. Three, three times. times. I tend to not ask people out because I'm too shy, and I'm terrified of being rejected. James is reserved more than he is shy. <laughs> Once he's comfortable, he's the bell of the ball. He's the life of the party. He's smart and he has wonderful values. He's fun, outdoorsy. You don't come across a person like him very often. I'm very um, chivalrous. I like to open doors. I like to wait for people and just be nice. The romantic in James would probably enjoy, you know, somebody who would either write a poem or somebody who would put themselves a little bit out there. Perfect guy for James would have to be very patient. Certainly need to be athletic, enjoy the outdoors. You don't want to be a huge partier. Someone who can be monogamous. Someone who's nice. Someone who's romantic. You have me at a kiss if you can kiss me well. When you spend time with James, it's real. And he makes real life fun. James is a catch. Okay, so without further ado, let's meet our very handsome, very eligible, very brave leading man, James. Woohoo! Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? I'm very good. I'm going to ask you some vital <laughs> questions, James. Okay. Yeah. First of all, how are you feeling? Pretty good. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Why are you nervous? Fifteen guys? That's pretty nervous. Really? Yeah. But there might be one really special guy out of those. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Yeah. I do want to fall in love. I'm having a hard time finding people 
who I can even get to those first stages with, to even even possibly fall in love. What do you want to get out of this? I'm hoping to meet someone. I'm hoping that maybe I can make a connection with someone. You know, hopefully something a little more romantic, maybe, possibly. Well, we'll see. We'll wait and see. Now, the grand prize is for you and a special someone to win a fantastic trip to New Zealand, courtesy of Alison Adventures. Thank you very much. And that, are you looking forward to this? Have you ever been to New Zealand before? I've never been. I know you're a sporty, competitive kind of guy, and there's lots of bungee jumping, a lot of outdoor sports in New Zealand. This is going to be a great trip. Very excited. Okay, now I've just got a feeling most gay men have a great girly best friend, am I right? <laughs> You're right. And yours is? Andra. Andra. And Andra, luckily for you, is with you this whole week, right? She is. She's going to keep me sane. Yeah, well, I'd like another girly around here as well. So, Andra, wherever you are, here she is. Hi! <laughs> so Thanks for being here. here. Well, you guys know each other, known each other. Have a seat, guys. Andra and I being together, I think it's going to be literally my left brain and my right brain in two different bodies. Are you both prepared for what may happen this week or what may not happen this week? I think we're prepared. I think that the fact that we're here together, the fact that I kind of have James's back a little, I think that helps the situation. We will definitely not agree 100%, but that's good. It's going to make for interesting discussion, and maybe somebody who he would have dismissed too quickly might get a chance to get to know James a little more because I happen to come along. But well, he's very happy you're here as well, and we're all happy that both of you are here. But um, I've got a little surprise for you both. So uh, are you ready for this? I want you to cover your eyes, okay? So come with me. Come with me. James Stand up. Like cover your eyes. He's going to have to get used to the surprises because he's got 15 surprises waiting for him. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. Follow me. Okay. Right. I want you to stand right here. Okay. On. Just right here? Yeah. And stand there and open your eyes. And the, you've got five minutes to have a sneaky peek at the 15 mates. And I'm coming back in oh five minutes. God. Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes. I'll see you in a moment. Wow. <laughs> I hope they look like this. Remember, James and Andra have no idea that some of the suitors are straight. Who's your favorite? I'd say... Or give me your top three. Okay. 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 Him. Okay. And... It's a tie. Okay, give me your top four. He's, he's cute. But this one? Yeah. Okay. He's kind of seems mysterious. The guys, if they know it's good for them, will adore Andra. I like him too. I think he looks like fun. They should understand that Andra has a say in whether they're here or not. Oh, oh. He's gonna be cocky. Mm -hmm. That's a given. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give him my top five. I mean, that one, that one, and probably this three. He's probably, you think he's probably 12? Yeah. He looks very young. But he's kind of like oh, a sparkle, though. Oh, I guess. Oh, I'm <laughs> no. gonna get a little extra as well. I get first impressions. If you saw any of these in a bar, who's the cutest? We couldn't find one. We were going for the top four. There's always going to be someone better looking. There's always going to be someone richer. There's always going to be someone smarter. There's always going to be someone who knows more people. The trick is to find that combination that fits me. If you look at like personality, like this guy has a great smile, and this guy has a great smile, and this guy has a great smile. The best possible thing that could come out of this, the absolute best, would be we're introduced, and as I'm going through, my eyes and someone else's eyes meet, and that's just it. It's about time you met her. <laughs> and okay. I'm going to have to ask you to stay here. We want you to change something a little bit more tropical. Okay. You ready for that? I'm ready. Let's go meet the boys, okay. the mates, okay. in the flesh. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. James, I don't know about you, but I am so excited. I haven't even seen you yet myself. <laughs> How are you feeling? Very nervous. Very nervous. Yeah. Well, as we're doing this in true Hawaiian luau style, there's no better way to meet the boys in the flesh than in this true traditional Hawaiian style. Okay. Are you ready for this? I am. Can you be trusted to be left on your own though with them? Yeah, I yeah? can do it. I'll do it. I'm going to go. I'm going to leave you to it. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. I want full report when I come back. <laughs> okay. okay. Good uh, love. Thanks. Good stuff. Okay. I'll see you soon. All Enjoy right. yourself.